Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to persuasively lead visitors down a page with Divi's built-in animation settings. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in the admin dashboard of our website. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we can name this page whatever we want. So I'm just going to call this Mac tutorial, click on use the Divi Builder. So we're going to build from scratch. So I'm going to select build from scratch. And then over here, I'm just going to close this first because we need to start off by adding a background color to our section. So I'm going to come over here to the top left, click on this gear icon to access my section settings, click on background, and then we need to click this plus button to add our background color. Now, if you want to use this, the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so I'm going to add my color now. So that's my color. Next, we're going to come over here to design and then we need to go to dividers because we need to add our section dividers. So we're going to add it to the bottom. So I'm going to click on the bottom tab and then click here on this drop down, and I'm going to choose my style. And the style I'm going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. Next on the color here, I'm going to choose my color and this is going to be white. Now let's go to our divider height and here we need to set it to 30. Next, on the horizontal repeat, we're going to set this to 10 for the desktop. Now, we might as well go into our mobile devices. So I'm going to start with the tablet. And on the tablet, we're going to set it at 4. And that's going to be the same for the phone as well. That's going to be 4 as well. Next, we're going to add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And we just need to add some spaces to the top and the bottom. So let's start with the top. So over here, we're going to set it to 269. And for the bottom, it's going to be 674. Now let's add our values for the desktop, um, uh, for the tablet as well. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. And then I'm going to click on the tablet tab. So here we need to set, it the, uh, set the top to 100 and the bottom to 200. And this is also going to be the same for the phone as well. So we just need to add our 100 here and 200 for the bottom. So we're all done now. Let's go ahead and save. And then the next stage now is to add our row. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button, single column. So I'm going to add that. Now let's do our adjustments to our row. So I'm going to click here on row settings. And then I'm going to click on design sizing. So the first thing we need to do is to make this row full width. So I'm going to click yes. We're going to save this for now. Now it's time to add our module. So I'm going to click this plus button. So this is going to be a text module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Now over here, we just need to type in some text and the text is just going to read as follows. It's going to be called follow the arrows to discover services. So now that we have our text in here, let's highlight it and set it to heading one. So I'm going to come over here on this drop down, set it to heading one. Now let's stylize heading one. So I'm going to come over here and just mouse over this text and click on this brush tool. Now this will take us directly to the settings of the heading text. So let's start by choosing our font. So I'm going to come over here and uh, choose Didact Gothic. Our font weight needs to be set to bold and the alignment needs to be centered. Now, as you can see, the text here is quite difficult to read because it's on a dark gray background. So let's change the color to white so it's easier to read. So over here on the heading text color, I'm going to choose white. Now it's time to add our heading text size. So I'm going to come over here and set it to 170. And then we might as well add the sizes for our tablet and our mobile phone. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, click on the tablet tab. We're going to set this to 50 because right now it's way too big. So now you can see it fits in the screen uh, properly. And now we need to do also the same for the phone. So again, I'm going to set that to 50 and then back over here to our desktop. Next, we're going to add our line height. So we're going to set our line height to 0.8 EM. Right. So the next stage now is to add our heading text shadow. So the option I'm going to go with here is this one. Select it. And then I need to add my values. So for my heading text shadow vertical length, I'm going to set this to 1.5 EM. And then for the color, I'm going to click here on this uh, eyedropper tool and paste my color within the brackets and then save. Next, we need to add our another section. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button. It's going to be a regular section. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to close this for now because we need to add a background color as we did with the first section. So I'm going to come all, all the way uh, down here to the left, click on section settings, and then I'm going to click on background, click the plus button and add my color in here. 
Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the show notes below so you can go ahead and use those colors from the post. All right, so now that I have my background color, let's add our top divider. So I'm going to click here on Design, Dividers, and I'm just going to come over here on Style and make sure you're on the top, uh, top uh, divider. So I'm going to click this drop down, choose my style, add my color, and I'm also going to add my divider height, which is 30. So next over here on my divider horizontal repeat, we're going to set this to 10. And for the tablet and phone, we're going to set it to 4. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, go to tablet, set this to 4, and do the same for the phone. Right, so the next stage is to come over here to spacing because we need to add some padding. So here's one quick tip. So if you want to add the padding to the both to the top and the bottom, all you need to do is to add your value first and then click on this chain icon. So that automatically adds the padding both to the top and to the bottom. Okay, so let's save and add a row. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and this time we're going to add four columns. I'm going to select my four column structure. I'm going to close this for now. Go into my row settings. Click on design. Sizing, we're going to make this full width as we did before with the uh, top section. Over here, we're going to select use gutter width. Now, the reason why we need to use gutter width is we can actually assign the sizes between the columns. So this is why gutter width is important in this example. So by default, it's set to three. So let's set our gutter width here to two. And then we're just going to save. Now it's time to add our blurbs. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, search for my blurb module. I'm going to select it. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to use image and icon, select yes. And then I'm going to choose my icon here. So I'm going to choose this one right here. So the only part we need in this blurb is just this icon. So let's go back and get rid of the text. So I'm going to click here on text, get rid of uh, the title here, get rid of the text. So now we're just left with the icon. Now let's go ahead now on the, t on the uh, design tab and uh, let's change our color for this icon. So I'm going to click here on image and icon, click here on the eyedropper tool and paste my value for the color. So the next thing we need to do is to adjust the size of this icon. So in order for us to do that, we need to activate use icon font size. So I'm going to activate that and set my size. So my size here is going to be 150. So we want it nice and big. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing because we need to add some margin. So we're going to start here with margin top and this is going to be minus 550 and for the top padding we're going to set this to 550. Next we're going to add some animation to this. We're going to click here on the animation tab, choose our animation style and our style is going to be slide. Now let's add our values for our animation. So I'm going to start off here with the animation direction and the uh, direction is going to be down instead of center. The duration is going to be 3000 milliseconds. The delay is going to be 1200. The intensity is going to be 100%. For the opacity, this is going to be 100. And then on the bottom here on image icon animation, we're going to set it to no animation. And then we're going to save. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a text module onto our first column. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module, select it. So I'm just going to add the number one. And then over here, we're going to come to design and add our text settings. So I'm going to click here on text. And the first thing we're going to do here is to set our font to didact gothic. Our font weight needs to be bold. We're going to add our color. So I'm going to click here on the color picker. Now, the color I'm going to add here has transparency. So I need to drag the slider down until I see these brackets and then paste the color, the color between the brackets, just like that. For the text size, we're going to set this to 350. And for the text orientation, we're going to center it. So I'm going to scroll down here and center this text. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save. And then we, need, we also need to add another text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module. I'm going to select it. And in here, we're just going to add some dummy text, lorem ipsum. We're going to set this text to heading three. So let's highlight it first, click down this drop down, and set it to heading three. Now let's stylize our heading. So I'm going to click here on the design tab. Heading text, making sure we choose heading three. Change our default font to Didact Gothic. We're going to center it. Change the color to white so it's easier to read. And now we're going to change the size to about 40 pixels. So you want it nice and big. 
and we might as well add our sizes for the tablet and the phone. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, click the tablet tab, set this to 30. In fact, I've added that on the wrong place. <laughs> right, we need to come back over here to heading three. So I'm going to click here, click the tablet tab, set my size to 30, and we're going to do the same to the phone as well. Now let's come over here to our letter spacing. We're going to set this to minus one. Now, what that does is it just brings the letters closer together. So we don't want it to be too much. So minus one is just okay. So for now, we're going to save. And next, we're going to add another, uh, another module. So this module, this time, is going to be a divider. So I'm going to search for it and select it. We're going to come over here to the design tab and add our color. So we want our color here to be white. And then we're going to come over here to sizing, set our width to 59%, and then center it. So this is what you, you need to use to adjust the size of this divider. So you just need to uh, specify your width here, and that becomes the width of this divider. So here we're also going to add some animation to this. So let's come over here to the animations. We're going to choose slide. So for the animation direction here, it needs to be set to center, which is great. Now let's add our animation duration, which is going to be 2000. So I'm going to enter my value here. The intensity here needs to be 10%, and then we're going to save. So one quick thing we need to do here, this divider needs to, needs to be below that heading, so I'm just going to drag it below, just like that. And let's continue by adding another text module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Next, we're going to come over here to the Design tab, click on Text. So here we need to set our text to light and also change our text color. So I'm going to click here on the color picker and paste my value between uh, right here. Next, we're going to set the size to 18 pixels and a line height of 1.8. And then for our text orientation, we need to center it. So moving on, let's scroll all the way down here because we need to add some animation to this as well. So I'm going to click here on animation, choose my animation style, and it's going to be slide. And we want this to slide up. Click here on my direction and choose up. So the intensity here needs to be 20%. And that's all we need to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. So what we need to do now is to clone all these and add them to these three columns. So the quickest way to do this is to hold down the command key. If you're on, if you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, you need to hold down the control key. So this is called multi-select. So now I'm going to start selecting what I need to copy like that. So once I have them all selected, I'm just going to hit command C and then and V to paste. If you're on a PC, it's control C to copy, control V to paste. Okay, so now I have them all in the right uh, columns. So all we have to do now is to change the, uh, the module content. So here we have all ones, so we just need to go in and add a two to this one here. Save that, move on to the next one. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to add some uh, animation delays to the dividers. So I'm gonna come over here, click here on this gear icon to go into the module settings. Click on design, animation. So over here, you're gonna set this to 400, save that. Move on to the next one. And this one here needs to be 800. Click here on animation, save that. And the final one needs to be set to 1200. Click on design, animation, animation delay, 1200, and save. So the next thing we're going to do here is to add some animation delays to the text as well. So I'm going to click here on the gear icon to head over to my text settings, click on design, animation, and the animation delay here is going to be 400. Save that. So go ahead and do the rest. Uh, in column three, it needs to be set to 800 and column four needs to be set to 1200. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to change our icon colors. So I'm going to start off here with the second one. So I'm going to click here on the, on the um, gear icon, click on design, image and icon, and I'm going to select my color and paste it here. I'm going to save that. Move on to the next one. Click here on this gear icon, design, image and icon. Okay, we're going to save that. Move on to the fourth one. Click on design, image and icon, and paste our color here as well and save. 
Okay, so now that we have our colors in place, the next thing we need to do now is to go in and customize our animations here as well. So I'm gonna click here on this module settings. So let's head over here to design animation. So for our animation duration for this one, we're gonna set it to 2000. Animation delay, 800. The intensity here is going to be 62%. And then we're gonna save. Let's move on to the next one. We're gonna click here on the module settings, design, animation, so this time the duration is going to be 1000, animation delay 600, the intensity is going to be 69, and the opacity is fine at 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Move over here to the fourth one, click here on the gear icon to enter the settings, design, animation. So over here on the delay, we're going to set this to 400, and then we're going to save. Right, so we've added all our settings, so the final thing now is to do a quick preview and see what this looks like. So I'm gonna save the page, exit the Visual Builder. So as I'm going to start scrolling, you're gonna see these arrows pointing down to our content. So let's start scrolling. You can see our arrows here, all going down. And now our animation is happening as well. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.